Hey guys, it's Doc from the Gold Hog. And I figured I'd just drag you along today. I'm gonna to be doing two things. I'm gonna take you over to the commercial operation up there, um, up at Golden Gems, and I'm retrofitting that with a new mat configuration because their system really runs like a dredge. They, uh, the rocks that they run through are not waste product, they're actually byproduct because they sell some of the gravel, plus they have gems up there, so they can't discard it. So they actually have to have the rocks go through their system and gold is just one of the byproducts of their operation. So it's kind of interesting. I actually put sort of a dredge configuration into their commercial sluice and it runs really well. Um, we run a test on it and I'll show you that too. So hopefully you'll have some fun. Hey guys, it's Doc and it's actually cold and windy up here today. We're up at the commercial op and we've got a new matting system we're gonna put in. I wanted to show it, but this, this whole system really runs almost like a dredge. It's just a different configuration. You have a lot of rocks going through. There's a lot of velocity actually up on this upper portion. So I wanted to try a little bit different configuration today. We're gonna to run a, not a long test, a fairly short test, but I've got sort of the same setup that we put in our dredges. And what I've got is I've got river hog inside this upper section up here with a quarter inch perf over it with some bolts holding it about an inch above that. I've got a little knockdown mat that I put on up here. So we're gonna knock down the, it's, it's extremely violent. You're gonna see that this is sort of a, a blowing mixing chamber. It all sort of swirls and washes, comes down through here. It's gonna hit this little mat. It's gonna have a lot of settling effect on this perf with some river hog. Then we go down and uh, we sort of call this the nugget trap. It's just big riffles with uh, UR under it. Then it goes down, there's a little more UR into this fine perf, and then we're gonna hit it again with this trim river hog, and that's a new mat we're doing today. And actually what's kind of cool is, is just as a test and as a safety, they've got one of the after sluices that we built down there. You can see it, it's just a, it's just a regular wooden sluice with mat in it just to sort of run everything through one last time, just as sort of a safety thing. Well, we're going to run it and I'll show you what we do here. So anyways, we just shut her down and we're just sort of running her through right now. There's a bunch of, there's a bunch of black sand sitting in there. I don't know if I can get her on. Right in here, there's a bunch. This is all black sand all in here. I'm seeing real good black sand back in here. Now without looking at it, I'm guessing that right here is going to be really bare because this is where the water was jumping up and hitting right here. And then as we go down a little bit more and more, I think we're going to see 
probably a little bit more material. But it'll be interesting to see what is actually under here. Hey guys, we just took the upper mat out of this thing and we're starting to clean it. And Joey and Aaron really haven't seen this river hog up and like this under this punch and stuff. But we cleaned out the first couple of inches. Now this is at the very, very, very top. And I want you to be able to see all that fine gold. Now this is, here's the ramp and here's the post ramp. There's tons of gold sitting all in here. All the way down here. Up there. But, I mean it is just loaded all up in here. Whew, look at it. Do that one more time for the team that don't want it. Okay, stop. Look at it. See all that tiny, tiny stuff there, Joe? Look at that stuff. Wow, that is awesome. Ooh, look at that right there. Now this is this is really the first, this is about the first mat where that carpet hits it. Mm. So this is the first point that, that water can We're looking out. at this mat in the sluice. You don't see any gold, and I'm telling them, <laughs> the gold hides in this mat. I mean, it hides really, really deep. Yeah, yeah, it does. And, and when you got it, that's why I said for the first time, we're cleaning the mat right at the, right at the actual op because I wanted to slowly rinse it back and forth, slowly rinse it. And you can see all that hit, all that small gold hidden down below. That's amazing though, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's amazing. But it, I mean, it just, that's it just awesome. blows my mind. Every time I see, I'm looking at 50s and 100s. I'm looking at tiny, tiny, tiny stuff up in here. And this is right at the very, very top. We still have the full mat. We haven't even done the rest of the mat. This is just that first, this is just that first top first section, mat. section right here. And this is right at the beginning. We're only three sections down, so that's 18 inches down so far. We still got another 30, 40 inches to go. All in here. Get right there. It's gonna be hard to darken it down. All up in that black sand, you're starting to see gold show up. All right, yeah, let's start rinsing that. Look at that. That's so pretty. Put a little water on that and let it roll down. Look at that. Do it again, put some more water on. Where the hell's my finger there? Yeah, look all the way down. Boy, it's nice. God, it's cleaning it really well. I just still can't get over like that right there. This whole line. Oh. Holy cow, look at that. Oh man, bunch of it right there. So that, it's hard to see because of the way it's shaded, but that's all the cons from the upper mat of running that commercial opera up there. That's it, that's everything, right? Yeah, unless there's any in that. Yeah, there's a little bit in that. I mean, that's, this bit. is basically it. I mean, you've got three or four cups. Yeah. <laughs> Three or four Amazing. cups of concentrate out of that thing, and that's it. Versus 10 gallons of concentrates coming out of that. I'm going to grab a that's little nice. scoop and test pan. I'm going to probably get 50% of your gold will be over here. Yeah. 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 Less and less and less, but you can just concentrate real quick. Right that's pretty much, that's it. That's the concentrates from the mat. I'm gonna go pan it out. But that's from the first pan I did, and that's the second pan I did. Now this is just out of, this is all just out of the first mat, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. is just first mat. 
the bottom of the tub where did uh, come out with the water. Uh, Ooh, that looks pretty. When you shade it out, it looks even better. Let me shade this one out too. That's pretty right there. I mean, there's so many fines in here. It's unreal. We got to get jet dry to clean it up. Like I said, we ran what? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes of running on that, and just that new. That's just the upper mat. We haven't done anything else. It was uh, just that upper mat with quarter inch perf over it. I'm happy with. It. Yeah. Or yeah, that's yeah. nice. Nice. The main thing I'm happy about is all the fine gold. I'm seeing it's tons fine. of fine gold up in there. And that's where it's really, really, really violent. I mean, it's just water screaming through that thing, so. Yeah, for it to catch that gold, it's doing good. It's yeah, doing it's, it's, it's really set up well. I'm, the other thing is, is like I said, we play with this config a lot because this really is a dredge. I, I mean, yeah. it basically yeah. is a dredge because you got big rocks coming down through and you sort of have to have some protection zones. And that's what I like about it. Like a land-mounted dredge. Yeah. So that's pretty cool right there. Two good-looking pairs. Nice. 